This is a Rheem Performance Water Heater, 50 gallon. If you own one of these with a valve that looks like this, then you may have trouble with your pilot light going uh, out and having to reset the valve. Well, this particular water heater has had two new gas valves under warranty and a new sensor and it still didn't solve the problem. So I decided to delve deeper and actually take out the pilot and burner assembly, which you now have to buy a combination pilot and burner assembly just to replace the thermocouple. So uh, I decided to look into it and test the thermocouple uh, millivoltage output and discovered it was lacking, and I found out why. Okay, so we're looking at the burner assembly here for a ream controlled water heater, and the pilot keeps shutting off. So what I've discovered is that I'm not getting enough voltage from my thermal pile, so when I tested the flame position here, I only get 625 millivolts. But when I put the flame at the end, I get 750 rapidly. So what I'm going to attempt to do is move this pilot down by removing this little clip here and seeing if I can't get to move it down in position some way. The burner assembly, you have to buy the entire burner assembly if your thermocouple goes bad, thermal pile, which is ridiculous. You can't buy this assembly alone. So I'm going to try this repair and we'll see if it works. Okay, so once you remove this little clip, it snaps in here and goes around the actual pilot right there. This thermal pile moves up and down easily. So I'm going to reposition it and see if I get a good voltage reading. So here's the assembly locked in position now. I got this clip back on, I slid it down and it's right even with where the pilot flame will be. The pilot flame comes out of there. It'll hit right on the end. That's the plan. Now let's see if it works and reinstall it in the machine. 